Welcome everyone to my new video on YouTube. Today we'll be talking about football and specifically speaking about the Copa Libertadores, the greatest club competition in uh, Latin America and we're going to take a look at some key reasons why the Mexican teams must come back and participate in the competition because we all know that in Mexico they adore this sport and the Mexican league is in the top 20 among the strongest football links worldwide. The Mexican teams were regular competitors in the competition starting in 1998 until 2016 and three of them managed to even make it into the finals of the Copa Libertadores. These three teams are Cruz Azul, Chivas Guadalajara and Tigres from Monterrey but unfortunately none of them managed to lift the trophy. There is no doubt that by having Mexican clubs participating in the Copa Libertadores the competition will always attract more viewers and become more exciting and we are talking about a nation in which football is a religion alongside boxing the two most popular sports in the country and it would be always interesting to see if Mexico can manage to win the Copa Libertadores a Mexican club just as Pachuca managed to win the Copa Sudamericana in 2006 and it is in a few words more useful and fruitful for the Mexican link to have teams participating in competitions in uh, South America because let's face it the South American Confederation it's the second strongest football confederation in the world after UEFA and uh, the Mexican teams will gain a lot of uh, experience on top level football instead of playing against clubs from countries in the Caribbean the US and Central America because in North America apart from Mexico and some nations in Central America football unfortunately is not a very developed sport I'm pretty sure that most of football fans would agree with me based on my opinion that Mexico has teams more capable enough than clubs playing in Venezuela, Bolivia and Peru able to lift the trophy. The Mexican link for instance is wealthier than the links of this than the football first divisions of these three nations better players play in the Mexican link and uh, so far we are all aware that only three nations based on South America have not produced uh, a Copa Libertadores winner and these three nations are the ones I mentioned before Venezuela, Peru and Bolivia and uh, 
I'm confident that a lot of football fans would prefer mostly to watch Mexican teams on action against uh, teams like uh, River Plate, Palmeiras, Boca Juniors than watching such great football clubs in South America facing uh, teams from Venezuela in which football is not a very popular sport or uh, teams uh, from uh, Bolivia for instance because Bolivia ever since the beginning of the 21st century have been very weak in the sport of football the national team has not featured in a World Cup since 1994 and uh, usually Bolivian clubs have been uh, underachievers in uh, South American football competitions uh, as well as uh, teams from uh, Peru and uh, Venezuela. Well, as all of the football fans know, Mexico is a member of the CONCACAF Football Confederation and therefore Mexican teams are required, we could say so, each year the champions as well as the team that ended up second of the league Torneo Clausura and so on participate in the Coca Cola Champions League. And in my opinion, Mexican teams could participate in both tournaments, Copa Libertadores and the Coca Cola Champions League, at the same time. And uh, right now the Confederation Coca-Cola is thinking about having an expanded tournament with 24 teams. And uh, I believe that the strongest team in Mexico, the ones that usually end up as champions, Club America, Cruz Azul, uh, Tigres, etc., must give more priority even if they end up as champions every season and so on give more priority and demand to participate in the Copa Libertadores at a high level football tournament while the rest of the Mexican teams that ended up in the season at the 4th place, 5th, 6th place and so on participate at the CONCACAF Champions League edition and let's be honest here Mexican teams have always dominated the CONCACAF Champions League and even teams that are Mediocre in Mexico could be very competitive against some of the strongest clubs in the MLS like uh, LA Galaxy and New York City FC ending up as champions with ease and uh, as I said Mexico is a huge football market in the Americas, a profitable one, and I'm pretty sure that the people in Conmebol want them back to return and have Mexican clubs playing again in the Copa Libertadores. And Mexican football fans are also looking forward to that. And Let's face it, 
without Mexico not participating anymore in the Copa Libertadores, we could also argue that this is a significant financial loss for the Commonwealth Confederation because we're talking about a huge football market and uh, Copa Libertadores unfortunately doesn't have a strong following in Europe and in the rest of the world as well maybe in some countries like Spain and Portugal with a strong Latino population and uh, once again the Commonwealth Confederation would definitely want to ignite the interest of uh, Mexican fans, Mexican football fans. And I am positive that uh, in the near future, Mexican teams will once again return and participate in the Copa Libertadores. So that's it for today, football fans. I'll be looking forward to your comments below and your opinions, whether or not it is worth it for the Mexican teams to come back and participate at the Copa Libertadores football tournament. Make sure to subscribe for more interesting upcoming sports videos. Goodbye for now.